What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Ready to take down the boss. Now, one of the first things is your weapon. Just take it off. Does not matter. There is a special weapon we're going to put on when we get over here. Warp on over. Uh, now, you're going to want to have the thief ring on for this 100%. It is going to make a massive difference in how easy this boss encounter is. Uh, now, this is very similar to the Yorm fight from Dark Souls 3. Um, and interestingly enough, we actually use the same weapon, the Storm Ruler. So there are a couple loops in this area. You can grab them now, grab them later, uh, whatever your preference is. But just run on through. Grab this. It's the New Moon Grass. And for now, we want to make our way to that shiny off in the distance. That is the sword. Uh, there's also some crystal lizards that we can kill here, but don't worry about them for now. It'll be a lot easier to... We can just respawn them once we get the Arcstone and uh, farm them very easily that way. Okay, that is certainly a problem. Uh, let me see. Send the storage, send the storage, send the storage, send the storage. Send you to storage. There we go. So with the Storm Ruler on, go on and equip that. And then just go this way. Grab this guy while we're running past it. And we're gonna make our way to the house in the back. The house is our, our safety place. All right, now for the most part, uh, you are gonna be safe as long as you're in this house. I actually think that was all three loops. Let me look though real fast. Um, grass, stone over on the right, soul. Okay, so there's a stone, we can get stone. Uh, so as long as you're like in a corner here, you're gonna be safe. Unless something flies up behind you like that guy. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead, we'll cast second chance since we have it now. Now, if we do happen to die, it's not gonna matter. Um, and now just keep on the sword and just swing. This is all we're gonna do. We literally are gonna target stuff and hit our one, knock him out of the sky. You can use magic if you want. Uh, you can use magic or snipe here, but are we over our weight capacity? We are. Let me take that off. There we go. Big difference in our stamina region as long as we're below 50. And you're gonna have to kill these guys for a while. Uh, once you have killed a, a certain number of them, uh, Big Mama will come on down. If you want, you can chuck on a Ring of Avarice here as well, just to get extra souls while you're murdering all these things. Okay, here comes Big Mama. Uh, so when Big Mama comes, we are going to get in a better position to hit her because the Storm Ruler can actually clip. So, we wanna, when she's coming from the right side, and going right to left, we want to come on this side of the building. And you can toggle between different parts of her, so like you can hit the body, aim for the tail, etc. And then she's going to return back, and when she does, we're going to attack her from this side over here. See, she's coming on in now. Um, she likes to basically bombard you. Maybe hit these little guys. Oh, they're staying far enough away, that's okay. Let's see, all the little things she's shooting at us. After she's done her volley, get out and start popping her. I'm assuming it's a she because, you know, even though it's called Storm King, it's surrounded by little babies. So I'd assume our king is actually a queen. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to, how to identify the gender on this thing. It's a giant manta ray. Well, I guess maybe it is male. They did call it king. Who knows? Anyway, back over here on this side. Oh, one of them got me. <laughs> That's why it's good to have a second chance here, because you never know, we might get popped. Uh, one more, can we get him? Yes, we can. And with that, Storm King is down. 
Oh, go around the arena and pick up all the goodies. These are from um, from those guys that we killed that were up in the sky. So, lots of cloudstone shards, and they'll actually respawn even though the boss won't. Uh, if you want to farm up cloudstone shards, you can come here and just use the storm ruler and nuke all these things and get your stuff. Here is the stone. Okay, um, that should wrap it up. Uh, so of course, there's still the crystal lizards just to. Show them real fast. We just want to reset right here. And these guys drop a lot of uh, late game magic mats, so. Way, way easier to do it now that you don't got to worry about the boss and everything else. You can just come on in and take your time. That pure moon shade stone. Real nice stuff. And chunks. Uh, but yeah, just you can kill that up to, I believe it's four times total. Because, you know, the initial spawn plus one for each boss. Obviously, keep your thief ring on anytime you're here. Alright, back to the Nexus we go. Alright, now, first we are going to do our pure white world tendency events, so let me see how we are looking on... Are we looking stones? We got eight. That should be plenty to get things done. Uh, so we are going to spend our souls first, and then we'll kill ourselves. Um, oh yeah, the soul. The soul can be used for anti-magic field, which you'll need for a trophy, or you can make the Morium Blade with it. Uh, Morium Blade is, is, it's interesting, it's not a fantastic weapon outright, but what it does is it's going to dramatically increase your attack power when your health is below 30%. So typically, uh, there, what we call hyper mode in this game is you combine that along with the clever rat's ring and you use it to boost your damage and then do either magic or archery uh, to kill certain super tanky enemies, things like the blue dragon for example. Let's go get those souls back that we weren't able to spend. And now we are going to warp over to the ritual path. Go on and have your bow at the ready to kill this reaper, of course. We don't need to worry about the thief ring anymore. We can put the cling ring on instead. I mean, since you gotta kill this guy, you could always go for your, uh, your soul ring. Okay, we got that. Uh, and then we want to go down here. Back to where Patches was originally. And when we drop, we now have, oh, well, let me uh, change our inventory here. We're going to have to get rid of some stuff to make sure we're carrying that. Storm Ruler will send you away. Send these away. Send these away. Might get rid of some of these rings. Not going to need you or you or you or you. Excellent. All right, Magic Sword Makoto. Uh, then we can just oh my, uh, run out this way, loop back around up top. Uh, if you still have Evacuate on, you could just use that as well, just to get out of here. We're just heading back uh, to four one now. So what we need to do here is we're going to meet a NPC. And he is going to ask to see the Magic Sword Makoto. Uh, when we give it to him, he is going to attack us. So, 
to let me let me break down the the full list of exactly what happens here uh, before we work to explain implications and how this is going to change world tendency. Hold on one second here. All right. So what is going to happen is he is going to ask you to find the sword. We're going to give it to him. Now, if you agree to show him the sword, he is going to attack you with it, and then he's going to drop it after we kill him. If we don't agree to show him the sword, he's going to attack it us anyway with intent to take the sword. Uh, if we are holding the sword and wielding it when we speak to him, he'll attack us immediately. But when we kill him, it's going to shift the world tendency by minus three. Now, that's okay, because this is all that's left here uh, for for the, uh, the pure white world tendency. This is the only event. Uh, but just keep that in mind that world tendency is going to immediately shift upon killing him. So first thing we're going to kill is the skeleton. Do not be afraid. You have much. I am. Sleep. I will offer you tea. Ah, bless you now. So tell him yes. yes. You should get yes. an achievement for this. this lot, there is only one. And now he wants to fight. I want to kill his ass. And now you got Magic Sword Makoto. Uh, so with that, our world tendency has already started shifting. And now we want to do uh, uh, the tendency events. So to help do this, we're going to hop over to Ritual Path and start doing our suicides. see that that is already down to from pure white to neutral so now we pop our stone here um, go ahead and just drop we're gonna do this a couple times to get to pure black I need. Okay, I'm gonna go spend that level as well. That should be pure black, but we may we may be missing by one, but we'll find out in a second. Okay, we'll hop back here, we'll spend those souls. Uh, now there are two pure black world tendency events here, and it's gonna be slightly tricky for you to pull off both of them in one run, but we're going to attempt to do it anyway. So similar to how we ran through all of the, the third zone uh, previously. So yeah, we are one before black. So we'll go back here, suicide one more time. Uh, but what we're going to want to do here is, on pure black, he is going to appear as a phantom. Um, killing him, however, will boost the world tendency up. So what we're gonna have to do is kill him and then after killing him, make it all the way to the primeval demon in the same run. Now, if you fail to do this, it's not the end of the world. You're just going to need to use uh, more of your inferior eyes to offset that. So it's more than anything, it's just a pain in the ass, uh, but it is certainly doable. So we're going to go to the well, first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to go full zug zug here. Might be able to. Yeah, I can. Endurance up. Um, as, now, as soon as you get to Island's Edge, just be ready. He is going to go ham. He goes straight after your ass. So, work there. And you can see the Red Phantom version already hauling ass right after us. Dude is thirsty. And you can see the damage he does. He hurts. Okay, so killing him gets us another hiltless, which we didn't exactly need, but hey, whatever, now we have it. 
Um, so as for going through, we are going to try and do the regenerator skip to make our way uh, over to the primeval demon. So because we really don't want to die, we're going to be playing extra careful here. Uh, keep in mind that the world is on pure black world tendency right now, so you're going to see black phantoms like this guy that we see ahead of us. Uh, black phantom enemies are beefier. They are more deadly. They are harder to kill in general. You also notice that we'll get a lot more souls, and you're going to be seeing a lot more uh, bladestone drops because loot tables are increased on pure black. Okay, so after killing those ones, we go this way. Don't forget about the trap right here. We want to get up to the archer, so we're going to go up here. Want to go over this way. to do uh, the regen ring skip. So right from here, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, now that we're back here, we can go this way. Keep in mind that crystal lizard back here, he'll respawn as well. So we get another chance to kill this little bugger that escaped from us before. Through here, swing, and down we go. Avoid the trap. Got another um, Black Phantom guy here. Kill him. Not Black Phantom, the uh, cool katana. He's also another one of the enemies you can farm for the Pure Blade Stone. Him and the one we're heading to now. Two best ones. All right, so do not touch the Arc Stone. That'll uh, reset our world state. You notice he takes more arrows to kill now, but you'll also notice, look at that, almost 7,000 souls from it. The advantage of pure black. Right. Now, this is going to be the riskiest part. Um, and honestly, you might be better off just running here because we got to get past uh, Mr. Super Skelly and this guy. Oh, God, no. I went too far and I almost got myself killed. That would have been terrible. Uh, but we need to get past the uh, dual katana skeleton. And this is the one that, if you're not careful, can, can basically one shot you. So what we're going to do is literally just run past him. We're gonna, we're gonna wait. He should jump. Okay, now that he jumped, just haul ass. colorless demon soul and we got the loot from that so you can see he's still down there and from here we are able to just go back 
Now, the interesting thing is that both that Black Phantom and that Primeval Demon, each of them uh, will boost the world tendency up. So even though we are in pure black, from killing them, we're going to rocket almost all the way back up to pure white. So just to, to check, as you can see right now, pure black, we have the, the gold and the glowies. Uh, and if we warp back to the Nexus here. we go over to here, you can see we're back at just below pure white. Um, so, you know, uh, if you want to get that area back into dark to farm, you certainly can. If you're worried about getting your, your pure bladestone, uh, you can do that farming before you do uh, those particular events. Just keep killing that skeleton, the one we ran past. Uh, but otherwise, that completely wraps up World 4. So, from here, we are going to be going on over to the Swamp of Sorrow, which, uh, despite as hard as it typically is, is actually not as bad anymore. Um, I'm also probably going to go kill that Reaper twice, just because we are close to a level. But I'll go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll continue. So either way, stay tuned, and we'll catch you all with World 5-2 soon enough.